in today's time people are going through so much there is so much of inner darkness that they are dealing with there's so much of stress outside everyone's going through something or the other in terms of mental health today at upg lit fest we we decided to talk about mental health and really break the stigma attached to mental health we have natasha today with us and today we are going to talk about how mental health needs to be normalized you have been through so much right and just a little background of what you have done would you like to tell uh, i was diagnosed with uh, clinical depression and anxiety when i was 16 years old and i have been battling um, it ever since in ways um, you know big and small um, i've actively been uh, going to therapy i've also been writing about it. writing being my biggest um, you know way of expressing myself and also reaching out to people out there um i'm just kind of uh, growing um, learning more about mental health and understanding that it's um uh, you know not a battle within yourself it's a journey that you have to kind of overcome right so in terms of therapy so a lot of people have this you know thing in their head regarding especially in india yeah. there's a lot to do with therapy and medicines and pills so it's a stigma right, right, right. so even going to a psychiatrist is a st- stigma in yeah, today's absolutely, time absolutely absolutely so how how do you how would you advise someone if someone's dealing with that or there's a friend who's dealing with something like right. that I believe that you know everybody has their own um, mental health journey and their own way of healing. Some people really uh, get helped with therapy. Some people need something else. And me on the other hand, I, I therapy helped me, but a lot of other things helped me more. So uh, when it comes to you know going through it and coming out um, of your mental health uh, kind of battles, therapy is a tool to help you. It, it's not something that you need to judge somebody about or you need to think twice because it's just a tool. um a person who's trained medically equipped to help you mm-hmm. you know at the end of the day that's what it is so if you're willing and if you want to kind of heal it's just a it's just a way to help yourself wow. you know to do it it's something as simple as that has no need to over complicate it that you know you know you need to sh- why you have to go to a shrink and go to a therapist yeah. and all of that and i mean it just there's no need to over complicate it at all right it's better to reach out then so now you're writing Yeah. You're doing so many more things, right? Yeah. You're also the content head for yes. Humans of Bombay, and of course your own blog, yeah. right? And there's so much happening. So dealing with deadlines is something that you're doing moment to moment. That's yeah. a moment to moment yeah. struggle. And deadlines, obviously, they trigger anxiety. They trigger. I think everybody goes through that. So how do you deal with that at this point of time? Ah, uh, I don't deal with that. I feel like you know I'm, I'm always anxious. I'm still. uh even though it's been years and i think i'm still a ball of anxiousness and everybody in my life you look is very calm right now natasha i must say you did a great job <laughs> i've learned how to put a uh, uh, you know front so recently i had this i was conducting this workshop sort of a thing and performing and it was about how to overcome anxiety and be you know calm and the whole day i spent being anxious about how i'm going to not be anxious there so things that have happened and they still happen to me and i'm sure they will keep happening right um but it's just because i've kind of understood that this is it's going to be there it's a part of me and it might not fully leave me i've just understood how to deal with it what's best for me so you know to like just distract myself snap out of it not dwell too much into it small small things are it's it's a journey i'm sure you understand as well it's a it's a process yes. it's nothing that's going to happen overnight as long as you accept it and don't try to fight it work your way around it So I think that really wow. Works. So a lot of young people are going through these uh, suicidal thoughts, and I think suicide is really a big concern right now, especially in our country, uh, for young people. So what is your take on that, or any advice to somebody who's probably dealing with suicidal thoughts? Um, so uh, of course, it, like it's um, suicidal thoughts. It's it not just going to like spring out of nowhere. It's a progression. You when you're dealing with it and you can't you know deal with it anymore, you kind of that's like the last stage that you reach. Um at that point like of course I the first thing that you should really do is seek support from your family and friends um in, if you don't want to you know kind of go to therapy at that point and all of that it might seem really really hard uh, what I also realize is when you're you know feeling really down and out you don't want to talk up you don't want to have to explain yourself to people but if you like though that one time you make an effort to talk that one time will is really going to be helpful in the future Um so that's really important to just seek support in something that is you can't help yourself mm-hmm. all the time sometimes it's okay to mm-hmm. ask others sure. and professional help is I highly highly recommend it it's really not as um you know the way people look at it as a taboo it's just not that's very simple you're sitting in a, it's like how you and I are having a conversation yeah. 
it's exactly that um, in a like a therapy you know kind of setup right so it's very simple and um, it'll just help you in the long run you know like you if you want to feel better you want to get over it you have to make those baby steps towards it right so as a literature fest right we really believe that art and writing is something that can be used to emote right right so even if uh, it's maybe it's not out there even if you don't write a blog right. you're just saying that just write yeah just like dance or write or listen to songs sing scream do anything yeah. that doesn't have words like verbal words if you're not comfortable with that it just helps and it's so easy you know it's not something you have to put in a lot of effort in but it's something that exists and that we should make use of to feel better Thank you very much. Thank you so I much. I hope everyone seeing this is going to really take back so much. I hope so. Yes. I feel like I've just said a lot of gyan. <laughs> I am really inspired by your journey. Thank I you. I am inspired by your journey. I've learned so much about you but thank yeah. you. Thank you very much for Thank coming. you.